Hi, I'm Judy Rosenberg from Rosie's Bakery, and today I'm going to make one of my favorite treats, which is my New York Cheesecake Brownies. Growing up as a child in New York, I loved Reuben's Cheesecake and Greenberg's Brownies, and I delighted in indulging in them all the time. And finally, I thought, why not make something that's like half and half? So that's what I'm doing today, and it's so simple, you can do it in just a brief period of time. So, I'm going to start with my, I've melted the chocolate and the butter in the top of a double boiler, and what I do is, after it starts to melt, I turn it off, because you do not want to burn your chocolate, it will make it drier. So I've turned it off early, and I just let it sit there, and now it's cooled slightly. And I'm going to take my sugar. I never could understand why people use mixed brownies because it's so easy to make a good brownie at home. My sugar, my chocolate and butter. Mmm, what could be better? And I like my brownies fudgy. I tend to use less flour than most people because I think a brownie should be fudgy. Okay, we're going to give it a few little spins. Now we're going to add our eggs. First, I'm going to clean the sides down here. The wonderful thing about making brownies is you really don't have to worry at all about whether you're overmixing them the way you do with cakes, because the brownie is a very kind of substantial, you know, sturdy, hearty kind of thing that just you can whip it as much as you want. It really doesn't seem to affect it much. So I'm going to put my three eggs in. And once again, I'm not doing it one at a time and mixing it until it's incorporated. I mean, brownies, as I said, you don't really have to be gentle with them at all. So we're just going to let that spin again. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my quarter cup of flour, and as I said, this is, the, the original recipe actually had a half a cup, and I've reduced it since because I think... The less you use, the fudgier it is, especially in conjunction with the creamy, delicious cheesecake that we're going to put on top of it. So we're just going to let this spin a little bit. Once again, clean the sides. Get every last bit of the batter together. Give it a few mixes with the spatula. Now, although most of us usually grease our pans, I have fallen in love with parchment because parchment just makes your life so much easier. So what I've done is I've, I've cut a sl uh, piece of parchment that overlaps and after this is baked I can just loosen here and I can pick it up well after it cools not right after it bakes. So now I'm going to take my brownie batter and just plop it in here. So here's another little secret. I'm going to spread the batter very gingerly, and I'm going to dip this into hot water first because then it tends not to stick as much. Um, and I'm just going to spread it out, trying to get as even as possible, but it'll, it'll sort of get even as it bakes. So here's our fudgy brownie layer, and I'm going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes while I make the creamy cheesecake topping. Okay, so now we're ready for our super creamy rich cheesecake topping. And it's once again very easy. Just take a pound of cream cheese and your eggs and your sugar. And somehow I've always liked a little hint of lemon in my cheesecake. Reuben's cheesecake in New York was like the best cheesecake. You had to drink milk so that you didn't choke. And they always used a little bit of lemon juice, and I love fresh lemon juice. I never use the bottle kind. It just has a, just has a different taste. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in this. And wait till you see how simple this is. Just till it's creamy. I mean, you can overdo it. It doesn't matter, once again. That should do it. We're going to take our little rubber spatula, and we're going to... Mm, look at that. Could you die? 
<laughs> just get that creamy mixture. And this pretty much has equal parts, brownie and cheesecake, which is what makes it so utterly beautiful as far as being a great dessert. And we're going to use our spatula dipped in hot water again because it just helps to kind of look at how beautifully shiny and smooth this is. Get it even. So we're going to put this in the oven at 290 for about 45 minutes. We're going to test it with a, um, like a little shish kebab stick. <laughs> And it should come out with kind of moist crumbs on it. If it comes out with squishy cheesecake, then you know that it's not done. So here we have it. It's been out of the oven for about an hour. The pan is cool enough for me to touch. And once again, I'm going to use my fabulous hot water method. And especially with something like this, if you, if you have a knife that's hot, it doesn't pull the crumbs along. It just kind of cuts nice and, and sharp. Um, first, I'm going to just loosen the edges that don't have the parchment on this side, where the dough will have, you know, stuck to the pan. And then, I hope this works, I'm going to lift it right out. How do you like that? Get rid of my pan, and I'm going to cut, and I'm going to pull the knife, and each time that I make another cut, I'm going to put the knife in the water again. So, you know, what I love is that you can just plunk them out like this, like hunks of delicious, sumptuous brownies, or if you are having an elegant party and you don't want to have to, you know, go crazy making something fancy schmancy, they really lend themselves very well to being garnished. Either way, I have to have a bite. Mmm, if I do say so myself. <laughs> they are scrumptious. <laughs>